A total of 15 people have testified before the Reverend Samuel Kobia led committee regarding the incident in which Deputy Chief Justice Nancy Barraza is alleged to have pinched security guard Rebecca Kerubo's nose before brandishing a gun threatening to kill her for insisting that she complies with security checks. Barraza and Kerubo were among the first to appear before the JSC committee. This is not a trial. What we are trying to do is to establish the facts as they are. Eleven people appeared before the committee Wednesday, including three criminal investigation department officers, Mohamed Amin, CID officer in charge of serious crimes, Peter Moinde, Nairobi provincial criminal investigation officer, and the divisional criminal investigation officer at Gigiri police station, Peter Mungai. We started with the Bosio Ogota, who is a security supervisor at uh, the village uh, market. Then Jared Obonyo is the acting chief security officer at uh, the village market. Then we heard John Mako, who is uh, the person in charge of uh, the control room of the CCTV. So he is uh, responsible for the surveillance of CCTV at the village market. Then we listened to Anthony Makanu, who is uh, the security guard. So this is the man who was there, and therefore we had to hear his story. Bernard Murara, Kerubo's husband, also testified, and so did Gerald Wadibo, a doctor at Paladona Pharmacy at the village market where the deputy CJ reportedly paid a visit to that fateful evening. The deputy CJ's driver, Eric Omondi, was also among those called to give an account of what transpired. John Yongesa, a private citizen, volunteered his testimony in response to the committee's call to the public to furnish it with useful information to help in the fair assessment of the situation. And by the end of the day tomorrow, we will uh, expect to have uh, written our report, which will present it to the full Judicial Service Commission on Friday before 2.30 p.m. The committee will also include in the report its take on the CCTV footage obtained from the village market. But even before the committee's verdict is out, Kerubo's lawyer says a court battle awaits the deputy CJ. This process, the Judicial Service Commission process, is not connected with the investigations, criminal investigations, which are being carried out by the Office of Director of Public Prosecutions. Those are two parallel Systems. The eight-member committee assigned on Monday has acted expeditiously to dispense off with a matter which has generated wide public interest and which may see the deputy CJ end her career in the judiciary prematurely should she be found culpable. Sylvia Chibit, Citizen Live at 9.